let's talk about view range in Revit. So if I go here into my floor plan here under the view range, you can see that I have a setting like this where I have my primary range, which is going from top to bottom. And then I have my view depth. Here you can see my values 2300 millimeters, 1200 millimeters, zero and minus 500. So let's go to my section view where we can see it more easily what is happening here. So this is my top 2300 millimeters above the level. Everything that is above this is not visible in the view. So we can see I have here this element. And if I go to my level one, you can see that I cannot see it because it's outside of the view range. Then there is a cut plane, which is this one, which if this cut plane intersects elements, they will be shown with the cut line weight. So if I go to my level one, you can see that this wall is being cut. So it is shown with the cut line. And we can see this in the manage object styles. And here for my walls category, you can see that the projection line weight is one and the cut line weight is four. So if I change this to be, let's say seven, you can see that it changed the cut line weight for walls category. So I will go back to four. Okay. So if I have elements that are being intersected by the cut, they are shown in cut line weight. Uh, between this cut plane and the top, if I have some elements like these two here, I can see them only if the category is window, casework or generic model. Here in this example, you can see that I have a furniture here and a generic model here. It's the same family, only difference is the category. And if I go to my level one, you can see that I can see my generic model in my view. But if I check the furniture, you can see that I cannot see it because it is not one of those three categories to be able to see it here. So then we have a portion of the view, which is below the cut plane and above the bottom. Here in this example, I have the bottom same as the level one. I can hide this for you to be better able to see it. Something like this. So those elements here are visible in projection. So I have an example here of the generic model. And here you can see it. It is in projection. If I go and lower my cut plane, so it will cut my generic model here. So if I go here in the view range and I will lower it, let's say to 600 with OK. Now you can see that even my generic model category is shown as cut. And again, I can find it here. Generic model category cut is free for the line weight. So I will go with this back into 1200 as it was before. And let's continue now. We have the bottom and then we have the view depth. Everything that is below the bottom, but above the view depth. So here in this area is visible in the view, but using the beyond line style. Beyond line style can be found here under additional settings, line styles. If I check this, here is a beyond line style where you can see that for my setting, it is a dashed line, black and line weight is one. So if I go back to my level one or first here in the section, you can see that I have a family created here, which is in this 1000 millimeter view depth. And in my level, you can see that I see it dashed. If I zoom this a little bit more, you can see it is using dash line because it is using a projection or sorry, beyond line styles. So if I change this now beyond line style to be, let's say red, you can see that it is behaving according to this.
So I will change this back. Okay, so those are the elements that are below the bottom, but above the view depth. And then there are elements which are outside of the view depth, which are not visible the same as here. So this element, which is outside of my view range, is not visible in my level. So these are all the rules. Everything that is outside of the view range is not visible. Anything that is intersected by the cut plane is using the cut line style or cut line weight for the line style. Everything that is below the cut plane and above the bottom is using the projection line weight. Everything that is below bottom and above the view depth is using the beyond line style. And what is above the cut plane and below the top is not visible if it is not of a category window, casework or generic model. Then there are some exceptions to these rules and we are going to talk about them now. One of the exceptions is family categories that are not cuttable. So if I go here in Revit 2024, these are those categories. You can just Google them or pause the video and check them. In previous versions, there were more categories. It's changing, but in Revit 2024 are those categories. And I have created, you can see mechanical equipment here. I have created a family here of a mechanical equipment, which is a non-cuttable category. And you can see in my section view, it is being cut by the cut plane, but still it is shown in projection. The other way how you can find those categories is if you go to object styles and you can see these line weight settings. If the category doesn't have a cut line weight like cable trays okay, or cable tray fittings, then this means that it is not cuttable and it will be always shown in projection. Okay, the next exception is for the walls. Here you can see I have a wall. If I go again to my section, you can see that it be it is being cut by the cut plane, but in the level it is shown not cut, but in projection. And that is because if the top constraint is unconnected and the wall height is less than two meters, in this example, you can see 1,999, it will be shown in projection. If I put this to, 2000. Now you can see it is being shown as cut. And let's say I change this to 1500 unconnected. It is being cut by the cut plane, but it is shown in projection because of this exception. But if I change this to be connected and have it 1500 now because of this constraint. It is behaving as expected and it is shown cut in your floor plan. The next exception is or are floors, structure floors, stairs and ramps, which are located outside of the view range. Uh, here it is for the primary view range. Primary view range is from the top to the bottom. So this one here. If they are outside of this primary view range and about 1.22 meters below the bottom of the primary range, they will still show in projection. So you can see I have a floor here. If I go to my section view, this floor is away of my view range. So it should not be visible like this element, but I still can see it. And that is because it is up to this one 1220 millimeters threshold. If I move this to be exactly 1220, now you see I cannot see it. If I move this to be in my view depth, so it should be shown in here with the beyond line style. 
you can see that because of this exception I can still see it in projection. So this is everything you need to know about the view range in Revit to be able to use it effectively in your project.